All right, I think I'm gonna start filming here. All right, so don't mind us, all right? Especially me, <laughs> I'm a little, a little twisted. I wonder gonna, why. I'm not gonna say buzzed, but a little, <laughs> a lot of Zanica fez ass. But uh, yeah, over here, I think I'm gonna start filming here, all right? I'm over here today because we're gonna unbox Carl's RC, his second ever Fitzgale brap head right here. Serious, next level brap head now, man. He's definitely got the fever. But uh, over here, I gotta just start here, all right? Because uh, he's got a pretty cool garage set up here. He's, he's just, he's starting out here. He's got a, let me just give you a little example. Shit, for me, I, I, would, I would rent you out. I, I would love to build a couple of 4.0 TLR race kits right here on this bench. This is a beautiful workbench here. This is Craftsman, made in the USA, which is hard to find nowadays. You know, look at this. Serious right here. Oh, oh shit, he's got fucking amps oil. <laughs> Dominator. Oh, look, uh, let me take you guys in. All right, here some we go. Here silicone. we go. What we got here? Oh, you got some silicone spray. Oh, dude, you know I bathe in this huh? shit, right? I bathe in that. <laughs> All right. There's like a little mini pegboard. You know that, right? You can yeah. put like pegs here. Very cool. See, yeah, this is stuff this. I love. I love this. I love this. I love this type of stuff. You know, and a, 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 a working man's workshop can tell a lot about the person, all right? Especially how, if you're organized. You got one of these? Yeah, I got tons of those, but that's that's, that's a nice one. I need the one of these. Zanica Fat. Oh, this is a nice quality one, bro. I got a ton of uh, Sunokos, but not like this, not. Oh, is this, the, this you know, is where you got the Cam 2 one, right? Yeah. Wow, nice. I got all the M's off. Oh, damn, you got the hard to find. Racing one. Yeah, because damn, so I went upstate. Remember I told you I went oh. upstate and I got it from my friend? Very nice, bro. Yo, I love these Craftsman shells, dude. I never seen these in years, man. I can't believe they're made in the USA, man. It's great. Oh, Here's right. the porter cable. Very nice, a little pancake compressor. That's a great compressor to, to bring with you, not to, as your everyday compressor. Everyday compressor, boom, you got a nice one here, man. Nice V-twin, dual stage. Very nice setup. I, gotta, I, I think I gotta hook this up to something else. I just yeah, got that's it. a nice compressor, bro. You, you know, everything's like 125, 240 volt. Nice, 120. Two stage. You can do both. I'm good. I would run 240 without a doubt. 2.0, two horsepower, cast iron uh, pump. Very nice. And I got a three-year guarantee. It's awesome. <clears throat> wow. So that's what, no, I gotta, I gotta, Cobalt, I gotta man. set it up. I want to put a shelf here with so I can have the. Dude, computer. I think the motor in this, this right here, mm -hmm. is better than the one I have on my sixty gallon. You know, you know what I'm saying. So this right here will will work for you. It wasn't bad. The price you know? either. I would, I would have had a horizontal here, and then I would put a big ass toolbox here. But dude, you have a beautiful toolbox here. Yeah, already. but if I take this out, I could. Yeah. I could oh, the skin. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, that's cool. You could like uh, can, roll it and yeah, bring it to you. Yeah, I can play around with it. Bro, I like that setup, man. Look at that. Very nice. I want to do a pegboard thing here, which I have. Yeah, yeah. Board. Nice pegboard here. Mm -hmm. Dude, this workbench is nice, man. Put a nice little vise here mm -hmm. or one of them suction cups that you can install and remove whenever you want. That way you can work on your car here. You could probably, you could uh, build your uh, roller kit you got here. I have a lot of shit in the car you know? that I got to take out. <laughs> or even, so you got some magnetic trays, cool. Yeah. Very cool, bro. I like this setup, man. You don't want to see what's in my car. I, I like that, so like, it's like, we can stand, you know? And if we choose, we can sit. If we get like a bar stool, that's high. This workbench is high, it's not low. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's pretty cool. You know, I like your toolbox here too, man. That's the one I bought at Sears. Right? Yeah. Man, it's, it's a shame what happened to Sears, man. What's happening to Sears? We got... Two huge Sears by us over here in Long Island, New York, Nassau County, that that closed down. What a shame. What a shame. Can I look through your... Uh... It's not much in there, man. Yeah, I, I, I know just, there's I just still started, no way. I just started doing... Oh, All right, I remember them days when I had to start from scratch, too. Good, man. Not... I like this anodized. Like, yeah, Very I don't cool. much yet. I just started to... Over here, I would put all my sockets. Oh, what the hell? What is this? Mm-hmm. Over here, I would, I would probably put all my dams. Yeah. But I just didn't... Very cool. Starting to do stuff. Yeah, 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 no, it's there. All right, you have battery tenders. Mm -hmm. Cool, what's this shelf here like? 
Oh, damn, that's deep. So stuff stuck brand new in there. Very cool. All right, we got here a canoe. Yep. How old is that thing? This is the one you've been working on for a long time, no? no? This is the one I got. I bought it for like 300 bucks. Damn. It's all made of wood. Everything. All wood, huh? Yeah. yeah, I see. Look at it. Wow. All original. Damn. Everything's original. This is like from 1930s or something. No shit. Oh, damn. The wood came and out. this, I can get... This you is did that old. finish? No, this was... I bought it like this. You bought it I like that. I just cleaned it all out. And it was like so dusty. Mm -hmm. The guy just sold it to me. He was cheap. He was my neighbor from work. All right, I'll take it. This is like like between three and five thousand dollars. Wow, look at the flathead screws. The flat, yeah, I got that. I bought this flathead thing. hardware, man. It's funny, bro. It's amazing. I just go like this, and I roll. That's it down. brass. Those are br that's brass hardware. Look at that, man. <laughs> that's amazing, bro. Oh shit, Chevy mm -hmm. Corvette kit, Chevy Super Service. Oh snap, am I seeing a Axia kit? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, now I feel like I'm at home, son. Look at this. You gotta take that upstairs, though. <clears throat> oh, we gotta bring this upstairs with us, man. I'm putting this over here. <laughs> oh, we got here. This looks familiar. What we got here? We got a nice RC tool bench here, toolbox here. Damn, all different colors, though. Very nice. Nice plum hammer. Mm. I used to use one of these all the time. Got the good glue. Got some good glue. Trying Got some more glue. glue. Mm -hmm. Nice stuff. Oh, nice torque wrench. Mm -hmm. I didn't know Husky had a quarter inch mm -hmm. uh, uh, torque wrench. I just got that. What the hell? Look at that nice box. I wonder who makes the torque wrenches for them. I guess it's Husky. Damn, 40 inch to 200 inch pounds. Quarter drive, wow. I gotta get me one of these. Home Depot. We used this the other day for Christmas. This is what I, I, got, had, I got more stuff in the car. I got today. Oh, really? Today? Oh, man. You're worse than me, dude. <laughs> oh, man. All right, man. Let's go. Let's, uh, let's go let's, up. Joel. Let, I want to show everybody your uh, RC workshop area. Right now. Right, but hold up, hold up. Let, let's, let, let, let's, oh. let, let's fill up a little. I'm thirsty. Cheers. <laughs> yeah. This is serious right here, bro. What we got here? Oh, no, no, no. That's too much, bro. Too much? Dude, Maybe. we're gonna kill the bottle. Let's show this over here. That's all right. Let me, I gotta show this. This is a work of art. This is some 15th Come on, century recipe. Some Portuguese brandy right here. This makes my favorite brandy, C, R, and F. Even it the is. reserved. It is, it's a big difference, man. Tastes like garbage. This is serious right here, guys. If you guys like Hennessy, forget about that, man. Get yourself some of this Mavum here, bro. Serious right here. Super smooth. Just be careful, man, because this, <laughs> this will produce some kids. You know what I'm saying? So be careful. <laughs> All right? No, let's do a toast to everybody, man. Happy New Year's to everybody. Happy Brappin' New Year. Happy. Happy Zap. New Year. Taste. And it's smooth. <sighs> ah, smooth, kid. Mm. Look at this, Zap. Look at this, Zap. Mm. Mm. We are just shooting the shit. Over here, we're gonna put this axe to work soon. We're gonna take a look. I'm, gonna, I'm bringing you guys to a closer look. Uh, you guys know I love showing workshops, RC shops, tools, toolkits. I love that stuff. And, uh, and that's it. So we're gonna take a look at more. We'll be uh, looking around. Carl's got a nice garage here setting up. Yeah. And now we're gonna take. Oh, a, yeah. We're gonna. I'm gonna. We're gonna get a. Close look at his RC workshop. Now, this is a newbie. Yeah. He's with, you're in this hobby now for one year now, right? Yep, one year. Now, you, is this your first RC ever? Everybody, I'm sure, remembers you had the X2 34cc. That, we, yeah. we took the engine out. We had issues with it. No worries. We had fun with it when it was new. We couldn't believe how well that 34 ran. It wasn't actually a 34 engine from a 32 it was a 30.5 with a bored out cylinder that was a 34 all right it was actually a smaller engine with a, with a big cylinder that made it a 34 cc that's why it, it was a it had good power and rpms but uh it was unbelievable in the beginning but it had issues you know i had I had issues with the crank and we had issues with it whatever 
He was super happy with it because he had a great platform. That He had the Deluxe. It was a King Motor X2 Deluxe. So came with aluminum goodies. Mm -hmm. he, he got his money's worth, bro. Forget about the engine. Take the motor out. Throw the shit out. He got an OBR Signature Series engine that he still has not ran it or broken it in. Why? Because he put a brand new stock, bone stock, G320 engine, a, a, a long block, not even all together. We took everything out of the X234, pull start. Um, that's about it. We put intake, we did a carburetor, we did flight and flywheel. We took the pull start, the head cover, every, that off the 34cc and threw it onto the G320. That engine's been on that X2 ever since. And he, he's got an OBR. He does not want to change it yet. Why? Because he's having crazy fun with the stock 32. Easy to start. Great power. Will run all day. It'll outlast battery operated RCs. And you can beat the shit out of it all day. He's, he runs it. He runs it. He don't care. He's got another engine to put in there. Problem is he can't kill the 32. And it's super reliable. That's why that engine is still in there. All right, guys. I am right now super comfortable up here. <laughs> Like, I want to move in here. I want to get myself a bed <laughs> and move up in here. All right, this is Carlos's hard work. He turned in a garage attic into a beautiful workshop, RC workshop. Dream. Many people's RC. Holy shit, look at all I'm looking at right now. I will, don't worry, I will, I will show you this soon. <laughs> he turned in an ugly attic, empty mm -hmm. storage place into a... Beautiful RC work shop, all right? Work room, work shop, whatever you want to call it. This is like Superman cave over here for us ranchers. This is a wrenching, wrenching area here. All right, so let's, let's, let's take a quick look here. Let's take a closer look. I got some nice heat in here. I'm telling you, I'm comfortable here. N never mind this, even if I didn't, even if I wasn't warmed <laughs> up with some serious zah. It's yes. comfortable in here. You got dude. some music if you want. We got some music in this. Oh, snap. <laughs> ah, snap. Don't put music because they're going to find me. They're going <laughs> to. I just, I just made uh, Carlos turn on the radio because I don't want no more goddamn copyrights. You guys remember that video. The freaking UMC all over my ass, you know? So, anyway, let's take a look at this, man. He's got, he built himself another roll cage here for a 5T X2 platform. All right, safe. He's got smoke detectors, alarm detectors here. Yeah, it keeps it must. safe. It's a must right here. Yeah. Look at his first RC ever. We did a wrap kit on it. He still has the same wheels, wrap. all siliconed up. This is, let's do it under the hood. Can you just show this real quick to the people? It's a bone stock X2, except for the uh, bone stock G320 engine. We took the stock 34 out. Wait a second, let me, let me close myself up, all right? Because people, like, ah. I don't want nobody to fall down. Ah, yeah, look at this, guys. See, look at this. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to, especially when we're comfortably numb, we don't want to trip over that. Yeah, all right. Like, I'm telling you, we're on top of an attic of a garage. This ain't, this is probably a nicer room than most rooms. <clears throat> all right? Now, I will take you guys around here. We're going to get a closer look. But look, look at this. This is what I'm talking about, like, working like a gentleman. Look, he's got himself a workbench. Over here, just chilling away. You got yourself your personal axe for unboxings. You got a nice little little compressor here for your little jobs. All right, here's a close-up here. It is, look, this is what you get with a Deluxe X2. I don't know about today. You got this, what, last year, a year and a half? All right. It came with this, guys. It came with these aluminum parts. The shocks are great. I'm not going to lie. The, the freaking thing is awesome. This pipe comes with it. Original. I love this pipe, and it's and it's coated. It's coated, guys. This is the bone stock pipe that comes with the stock 34 piston port. All right. Damn. Oh, he, all right. So, chassis braces, guys. It comes with the car. Everything comes with the car. He didn't even change his turnbuckles because there's no issues with the stock turnbuckles. You know what I'm saying? So you're saving money. Not. Whatever, they're strong enough. Just little things like this. Yeah, little things he did. These things. Change that. All right, so we were, let's talk about, all right. Before we talk about that, you did. Everything in stock. We, this is stock too? Or we changed that, no? What? 
This. This is new. No, that's original. Oh, okay. Fuel this tank. Is fuel think. tank is low C5B. Full fuel tank this is with new. the vent and the high flow kit. This is new. Oh, he's got the turbo racing clutch uh, bell housing here, clutch housing. He, he got the RB Innovations intake manifold for the G320. 990 carburetor, chokeless now. TGN air filter, which one day you're going to do a, a crazy stews. It'll breathe better, but he's got TGN. He's got the one inch. He's got a one inch, yeah, velocity stack. He's got a velocity stack, TGN air filter. Out of wears. G320 uh, long block. 34 plastics and 34 pull start cover, but this is the metal claw one, right? And this G320 has a lightning flywheel. You got the gizmo lightning flywheel. You didn't do Dark Soul, right? What was no, gizmo? No, no. Lightning flywheel. Everything is bone stock, guys. Dark Soul's right here. Oh, here's the Dark Soul. Yeah, yeah. That's from my. Oh my god, look at these bucks of goodies. Yeah, wait till we get there, guys. <laughs> wait till I turn around. Let, let me work my way around here, guys, because I got to show everything, right? Bro, awesome. Nice job, bro. Look at it. Simple. You lucked out. You got a good price on this. It came with a pipe. He hasn't even changed the pipe. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be honest with you. I like this pipe. Sounds great. Works well. If it was my pipe, I would cut it out here. Yeah, but, like but, you know, whatever. You're gonna. Most people will get comp complained that they're going to get their tires dirty, whatever. Me, I wouldn't care. But he's happy with that. It's great. Works great. Um... Mom, that's awesome. I have all these wheels here. Damn, you got all these goody wheels here, man. And you were telling us, I have yeah. so many wheels. Yeah, 4PLS remote. Nice shit, man. I like this. What is this, like a butcher block or something? Yeah. Wow, I like, that's the stand you made, right? Yeah. Very nice. Oh, shit. OBR Signature Series Carlos. Wow. New clutch, spring. Look at that. A lot of guys would want this guy right now. Oh, nice. Modified OBR 990 carb. All right, that's a 15 pound spring change. What else? Oh, I have a sign here saying, oh. What the? Oh, you know what that means, right? Five more horsepower, kid. Zanica Vezza. Yeah, man. Very nice, bro. Look at that. Big shout out to Sean and Dan that helped us out. Good one next to me. Yeah. Even those those oh, chassis okay. braces. I'll this one. <laughs> oh shit, that's the gizmo, kid. That's the gizmo 30.5. That right there will push a 5T platform, no problem. But I think I'm gonna recommend that to put on a Baja. Yeah, right oh Zanica fan. Oh shit, we got a primal RC dragster. Mm -hmm. Oh man, let me show you that. Let me show you guys. Let me look, we gotta keep going. <laughs> Put this over there. Let me uh get a little, let me fill up right, my so batteries. We got pegboard here, very nice. Three and one is a must. Oh, I Big shout out to three and one. I have some downstairs too. All right. Oh, look, look, guys. This is great, yeah, for your locks and whatever. But this here, you could use this for your pull starts, guys. You can lubricate your pull starts with this. And you got nitro force, good. Look at this. We could do, we could do what his setup here that he just started out with. You know, Carlos has been working out, working on this setup here for over a year now, and he's done a lot in a year. The, trust me, there's been many times we were supposed to hang out and go wrenching and driving and freaking bashing that he could not make it. Why? Because he was here getting everything done. He was here working on his stuff, pegboards, toolboxes, everything. He was getting ready, getting his stuff organized. So we got some nice tires here, I see. We got a nice, oh man, what, what, what this is a nice bash body, bro, but it's yeah, actually. I touch it, so nice. <laughs> Dude. That's I'm, why I left it there. I'm like, gonna, oh, I love the rooster, man. Yeah. I love the rooster. It's pretty badass. Yeah. I, oh, no shit. I painted it. Yeah? Really, yeah? Oh man, it's sick, bro. It's badass. I had it for one of my clients and I just oh, cleaned wow. it all up. Very I nice. I cleaned it, I painted it. Everything. Very cool. That's my logo, man. Yeah, that's, a, that's Carlos's logo, man. The rooster. <laughs> that's awesome, bro. Let me tell you something. This bash body. Uh, I was trying to do the uh, fig trees. Uh, I I have that. Oh I was man, see yeah, if I can draw that. Yeah, you should try it, man. What is it? I just it's I have badass. one of my clients threw it. Arrow out. Garden. I'm like, let me just see if Wait, I can, can draw something up. Put a couple can of fig cuttings there. Fuck yeah, yeah. 
I would put a couple of thick cuttings there. I was going to put like a little basil, a little yeah, like yeah. different kind of shit in there. Dude, but I'm like, if, I don't know if it works because it's different. Man. Wow. It's like, they grow this, like little shits like this, man. But I'm like. Uh, dude, I remember this chair, bro. I know. This looks familiar, dude. This my, is friend, comfy, my friend, my friend, Jaw gave me this <laughs> as a present for starting out. Look at that. I, I remember this yeah. chair, man, very well. Dude, I, I love this body, dude, for the for the bashing. I think it's too nice to bash. See, I bought this at Home Depot here. The hot gun. Yeah, very nice. Dude, I really like this, man. You know, this nice, is right? thick plastics. You got this, I what, at Roman? Nope. I got it from, yeah, when we put the, yeah. I got a good price on it. Yeah, Dan's super cool, bro. Yeah, he's yes. a nice guy. He's very, super nice guy, yeah. man. And uh, he's got super goodies there, bro. Look, I mean, look at this. Look how thick that is. Yeah, it's great. But I was trying. I just to see I think it's too it nice fits, to bash. I don't know if it. It's, I don't know if it fits in the body. Oh, let's put her on here. Because it's I a, tried. Dude, that's badass. 